Okay, so these are our MF campers that we're um, ready to hire out now. So we've got two different models. So we have a rear facing camper trailer and we have a forward facing camper trailer. So firstly we're going to show you our forward facing camper trailer. So generally you need to disconnect this one from the car. So the bed is going to flip over and fold forward. So basically we've already disconnected it from our car. Uh, we've got it on the chocks. Uh, we've got the handbrake on for safety. And now before we open it all up, we're going to pull our stabiliser legs down. So they give you that support when you're inside. So we're on some uneven ground here, we're in some soft grass. So we always carry some timber, just so you can put under your stabiliser legs. So very easy to operate. Just pull your handle, lower it down so it's level. And then you get, this is supplied with your camper, it's just your handle to wind down your legs. So now just winding it down until it's firm and you'll see the camper starting to raise, that should be nice now. And I'll go around to each corner and do the same thing. Okay, now all we need to do is undo our six latches on our camper. We've done two on the other side, so we start at the rear, come around to your side. Very simple to unlatch. We come around, we've got to fold our bracket first. And now we'll put the luggage rack out of the way. So if you've got any chairs or firewood or any gear that you've been carting to, to your trip, You've got to remove that first, and this simply just folds forward. Okay, so basically we have two winches on our camp trailer. We have a rear and a, and a front winch. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the front winch and pulling the bed over the top. And then when we're finished and want to pack up, you use the rear winch to pull it back the other way. So what I'm going to do is now is hook them both up, and then we can get underway. So what we've done, to, to know how far you need to wind the strap out, I've done a white marker on your strap. So once you see that white strap, that's as far as you need to pull it out to hook it up to the rear. Now what you do is hook your hook onto your loop and make sure the safety's on so it can't come out. So now we've got a second winch and this is going to help us lower it down. So same again, we'll wind this out and there'll be a marker on the strap. So there's your white marker on your strap, and now what we'll do, we'll strap this on around the side here, and this will stop it from falling when we flip it over. That's all nice and neat there. Okay, so we're ready now to pull it over. So we found our markers, we've hooked it up, and now we're going to wind it up and over, and the other winch is going to catch it before it falls. Now the rear winch has caught the, the bed from falling, so what we do now is we lower it, so that's a nice soft landing. And that just locks in your bed. Okay, so now we go around all of our corners and we pull all your corners down, protect uh, water and the weather getting inside. So we just go around and pull all corners down before we go inside and pop the tent up.
Now we just strap the door down first before we open it. And these will be your stairs as well. On the driver's side front of each camper is where we have all our electronics and our battery. So generally while we're traveling, I normally switch everything off. So therefore you're not draining any of your batteries while you're traveling. So generally at this stage, before I jump inside, it's gonna be quite dark. So I come around here to the circuit breakers and I'll turn them on. So now when I jump inside, I'll turn the lights on and it'll give you a lot of light when you're setting up the camper inside. So we have our light switches at our entry of our door. So if you turn them on, we've got, uh, you got four lights, two lights for one switch. So it'll give you some light in here now. So I'll come in. Generally what we'll do at the start is pop up the middle. As you push up, you just do up your grub screws and give you enough height. And that's stage one. Okay, all we do now, we've got some poles that are already set up for you. Pop them in the corner. And they support there from the bed. Do up your grub screw. Grab your second pole. And do up your grub screw. That's done. And all we do the same thing now to the rear. So same again with the rear. Push it up at the back. We've got poles already set up. Push them in the corner. Put it beside your, your, your mattress. Other side, do up your grub screws. And that's it for you for your canvas, okay? So this camper trailer has a king size bed at the front and at the back it has another second bed but also it has a, a table that can get lowered or raised depending how you want to use it, whether you want to eat in here, a good place for the kids to sit and play or you can lower it down if you've got one child, they've already got a bed already made for you here. You have drawers underneath, uh, three of them. Just make sure you lock them when you're traveling and this one has two 12 volt power points in here if you need to charge up any of your electronics. Okay, so that's the inside done. So what we'll do now, we're just going to open up the window so you've got ventilation. So it's going to be nice and cool. And as you can see from the top, it has a, a bit like a, uh, a sunroof, so it gives you a bit of a breeze. So it keeps the camper nice and cool. And then weather, the canvas doesn't cop all the weather for, from you as well. So we'll open up the windows now. So it just comes with uh, two support beams here. You just slide in for your front window. You just push that pocket through. Like that. Then we have number 13 for the front bars. So basically all we do is push them in like this and you'll find a little hole in here that supports it and just rotate it. This way you can open up your windows and give them some ventilation and at night if it rains it won't come inside. So each camper comes with a ground sheet and also comes with an awning. So we've just got a, an easy assemble awning that just walks in, into place. So what we're going to do now is put the ground sheet down. It's a good size, it's six by three meters. It'll just keep uh, a lot of unnecessary dirt and stuff outside of your camper. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we'll get the awning. Yeah, it's just hang on a second. Here. 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 The kitchen's in the rear, in the rear fold. So open up your hatch. And you always have a safety catch that you'll rotate clockwise and you'll pull it out. As you pull it out, it'll lock into its position. And you lift it up, you'll have your stove, you'll have a windbreak. And we come around to the rear, and I'll show you how you can hook up your water and your gas. So your gas line and your water are attached underneath your sink. So all we do is we pull them both out. Okay, so yellow is water. And if you come around to the rear, both of them have caps, so you've got to make sure you replace them if you're finished. So it's just a matter of simply removing the cap, and it's just like a bayonet fitting, and just push it on like that and clip it in. Your gas is the same thing. Remove your cap. Push up clock clockwise, and rotate, and it locks in. Now when you go to um, operate the gas, because we've broken the line, you've got to turn your gas bottle at the front, let it prime, and then you can start your burners with your gas lighter that's supplied. The gas bottle is always turned off when you're travelling, so now we've hooked up our gas line at the back for our kitchen, and all it's just a matter of opening by turning anti-clockwise, and then you're done. <laughs>